This could be just one more river among the hundreds that exist in India. But this is the Ganges, the sacred river. And this is no ordinary day, because something extraordinary is going to happen. They've been waiting a whole year for this day. In my early morning, everyone is getting ready. Ready for one of the most incredible celebrations on Earth. The ceremony takes place every year, symbolizing the good over evil, following the mythology of the goddess Durga against the invincible Mahishasur, the demon that has always tormented humanity. For the next few days, nothing will be the same in Calcutta, because today, is the start of the Durga Puja. Calcutta has always been a unique city, but on the eve of the Durga Puja, there is a special omen, a feeling that something extraordinary is going to happen, and people from all over India come to join in the celebration. They arrive in groups, with their families, with their friends, the poor and the rich, as if they had a common destiny or were guided by the same spirit. Meanwhile, friends and family members await for their arrival. Five o'clock in the morning, the famous flower market has opened and crowds gather to buy lotus flowers. But today, they'll not buy flowers for the living, nor for the dead. They will be given to Mother Durga, the goddess of ten arms, the victor in the fight against the devil. The flowers of the goddess, the joy of the people, the whole city lives in excitement, the eve of the great celebration. The poor washing room in the streets, while others shave in improvised barber shops. Other groups dress up and rehearse their dances everywhere. There's also volunteers who cook all day so they can feed the needed throughout the celebration. And all of this in the name of the goddess Durga. It all started a year ago in the back streets of Calcutta. When all the artists began working round the clock, giving shape and color to their goddess. Finished, they will be placed among other statues to form what they call a pandal, transforming the city in a place of worship, celebration, and display. It's all a big and exciting fiesta these days, in which people live on the streets, sharing their emotions and joy.
Purga Puja is a unique celebration. It's difficult to explain. You have to feel it. Feel the excitement of the devotees as they gather around their statues of their goddess that has protected them from the beginning of time. The Durga Puja is the largest celebration on the planet and turns the city of Calcutta into the largest open-air museum in the world. It's much more than just a Hindu holiday. It's a celebration by all religions, a kind of spirit that soars over all, something mysterious that goes beyond any religion, bringing us closer to the true essence of life. You could say that Durga Puja is a passionate and emotional fiesta, but that doesn't mean you can't find the serenity and peacefulness needed for meditation at the heart of each pandal, where monks perform millennial ceremonies and devotees connect with their goddess. early morning, family groups from all social classes gather by the river with their offerings. Some use the mud from the banks of the river to sink their offerings, while the head of the family carries out the ceremony. The rest of the family members burn incense and throw flowers in the river. In India, Every form of art has a spiritual meaning to it, especially the dances, used to represent great epic tales. During the days of the Durga Puja, groups of actors and dancers give life to the story of Durga overcoming the demon Makisasu. The last day of Durga Puja is Women's Day. They come without their husbands and gather in groups. They dance, sing and paint their faces. As the celebration comes to an end, they all pray to the goddess for the health and happiness of their families. After nine days of uninterrupted worship of Durga, the time has come to say goodbye to her. Hundreds of groups gather in a procession as they head for the banks of the river. These are extraordinary moments. They plead in tears to the goddess to please come back next year while they drop her in the river. The Ganges River is the perfect place to bid farewell to the goddess. Its sacred waters are like the meeting point
between the human and the divine. It is said that whoever mentions the name Ganges with devotion, even if you are a hundred kilometers away, is immediately free from sin and will be at peace forever. Throughout the celebration, they've been constantly praying to Durga to please come back next year. I have no doubt that these prayers will be answered. Right now, hundreds of artists from all over Calcutta are already working on next year's Durga Puja. <laughs>